What exactly is a friend? Since I was a child, I believe that a friend should be someone who has the same personality as you, the same interests, the same passions. But this, this is an extremely harmful perception of friendships. It led me to never being satisfied with my friends, and I would just want to break off the friendship as soon as there was some kind of fight or disagreement. In my opinion now, friendships should be sacrificial. Any kind of relationship should be about putting the other person before yourself. My parents have always been telling me this, but I really learned it when I met my best friend. We've been friends since eighth grade, and if you knew us well, our friendship really wouldn't make much sense to you. We have different personalities and different points of views on nearly anything. We have also very different interests. While I like to bike, she likes to skate. While I like to walk or take the, the bus, she likes to take the taxi or the metro. So after two years of this friendship, I started believing, well, maybe interests are not that important. Maybe it's a personality, because we're both very shy. But later, I realized that not even a personality was really match, because I'm usually overly emotional, while she's usually calm and collected. I have, I'm very passionate about my ideas, while she's usually more accepting. So why? Why are we still friends, and why do I love being around her? It's because we care for each other. When I had a crush so bad I couldn't think about anything else, she was there to distract me. When I went through a really sad time, she cared for me and she didn't let me go. Exactly because of these, these differences, I have learned that we need to appreciate them, understand them, and accept them. This is so important. Anyone should learn to be friends with all kinds of people, despite the differences. Disagreements, differences, arguments, they shouldn't be the cause of fights. They should not be the cause of hatred amongst us. They should be something that inspire us. This is how I see it. Imagine a garden. It's full of flowers of all the sh same shape, same size, same color, same smell. That is so dull, isn't it? So boring. Now imagine a garden full of flowers of all shapes, all sizes, with different colors and smells. That is so much more interesting. And the same goes for humanity. Differences are what make each of us unique and beautiful. Now, all of this, I'm not just saying because I read it online or someone told me to say it. I have lived this. I moved to China from Italy when I was little. And for the first two years, I was bullied a lot because there were so many differences between me and my Chinese friends. We couldn't understand each other. I had always lived in Italy, and I've never really known about Chinese culture, while they, on the other hand, had always lived in China and had never understood the Italian culture. But after the first two years, we started understanding each other, and it's like the distance that, that is between our countries almost disappeared. We became really good friends, and I almost became one of them. I made great friends that I will remember forever. Cultural differences can still be a problem between me and my current friends. But they shouldn't be, honestly. I should learn, and we all should learn, to understand these differences and appreciate them. So finally, what is my point? What my friends have taught me is that a friendship cannot be successful if we don't understand differences and appreciate them. There will always be a person that disagrees with you on something. A friend that agrees with you on everything simply does not exist. Everyone has different opinions. So, instead of letting them be the cause of hatred, we should let them inspire us. Let them broaden our minds. Don't be scared of new ideas. Don't just hide in your own comfort zone. Go out there and understand new things, because the fact that someone else's opinion is right doesn't make your own wrong. Imagine how beautiful it would be if our world would be free of hatred, of prejudice, if our schools didn't have cliques, if everyone could talk to anyone they wanted without 
the pressure of thinking we're different. No, we, we just can't be friends. So please, understand the differences, appreciate them, let go of prejudices. Thank you.